So, you are playing your game, but you need to take a leak or do other important things. You want to pause your game. You hit P on your keyboard, so you can P yourself. And then you can hit continue to continue the game. Or you can hit P again to continue once more or pause and hit quit. We will create a menu just like this one. I'll show you the logic and how to create this. The first thing we will need to do is to create a widget blueprint. To keep things organized, right click and create a folder. Call it UI of user interface. Open this one up, right click user interface and our widget blueprint. Let's call this one the pause menu. Open that one up and dock it in here so we can easily switch in between. Okay, let's start with the text. Drag in your text and here in content, let's name this game paused so our player sees that our game is paused. Here under appearance in font, you can increase the font and then scale up as you need to and let's anchor this here to the screen like this good now we will need a button so drag in a button let's make the button a bit bigger like this anchor it right there for example and let's drag a text on top of this button let's name this continue and let's also increase the font of this button so we can see it really good. Okay. Click the button once more and let's give this a name. For example, continue. So later on we can see that we can work on this button. Then click here, Control W to continue this one. And let's name this quit because I want to make a quit button. And the text here. Let's change the text to quit. Okay, let's align these a bit and place this anchor right there. Okay, so this is a very simple pause screen, but you can just tweak this as you like. Let's add some logic to this. First of all, hit the button, not the text, but the button itself. Then go to on clicked event and click this one. The first thing we want to do is to set the input of our game mode on clicked. So, right click, then get player controller, then drag out of this, set input game mode only. So when we continue, it's back into our game. We no longer want to UI here. Then also drag from this value, set show mouse cursor. We don't need the mouse cursor anymore, so leave this empty. Then drag off this. Remove from parent. This makes sure our screen that we just made here is removed from our screen. So remove from parent target self. So this is the thing itself. And then set game past. Click this one and keep it unchecked because when we hit the continue button, we don't want the game to be paused. Okay. Now back to designer. Hit your quit button. Remember to click on the button itself and then on clicked. This one is easy. There's a function where it's in Unreal, namely quit game. And then hit compile. Now another thing you can do is to go back here and look from blur, background blur. Drag this here on the pass menu canvas panel. So you have your background blur, for example. Let's anchor this, control click to full screen. Then look from blur. And the blur strength, let's set it to something like two or three, maybe. You see, this is blurry. Okay, this is what I want. Now I can drag this more on top of here. So my game is blurred and not my screen. So make sure this is above these other ones. So my game is a bit blurred. This happens in most games when you pass your game. Okay, great. So to go back to our logic, we have our logic enabled. Let's also get our menu on our screen. How do we do that? So here in content, go to third person blueprint, blueprints, and then you have your third person character or click it right there. Good. In the event graph, we need to add an event. How do we do that? Go to edit, project settings, and under engine, there's input. And let's create a new action mapping. Hit the plus icon, and then let's name this one pause. The input for this hit the p for the p key not on the gamepad but here on the keyboard 
P. You can add more if you like. I just use the P key for pausing my game. Okay. And now when I go back here in the event graph of my third person character, right click, then you can see the action that we just created, namely pause. Okay. First thing we have to do when this is selected is execute when paused. Most things are paused when a game is paused, of course, but we don't want this paused because this needs to work while our game is paused. So click this box. Then, on pressed, we will create a flip flop. And it sounds funny, but it's actually very convenient thing. Namely, it first executes A and then B. So we can do opposite motions of each other. Let's start with the A, the thing it will do first. So let's create a widget. And the widget is the widget we just created, namely the pass menu. Okay, great. Then from this return value, let's add this to the viewport, namely the screen that our player sees. Now what we're going to do is to set game passed, but this time we check the box we want our game to be passed. Then right click, get our player controller once more, because we need some more options for this, namely set input mode to game and UI. Let's connect these up as well and also drag from this once more set show mouse cursor and then hit this one up and we want to see our mouse cursor because then we can click on our menu. Okay great. So once more while we hit the P key or action it will go through A first it will create the menu that we just created right here on our screen. Then we will add this to the viewport so we can see it. It will pause the game. Then it will set the input mode to game and UI so we can interact with the UI. And we see our mouse cursor. Now when you hit this key again, it flip flops to B because then we want our game to continue playing. And what we then want to do is to remove this from the screen and unpause our game. So. From this return value, type in remove from parent because this removes this widget from our screen and connect this one up with B. So right now we can just follow along once more, right click, get player controller. We can use this one here as well, but this is more organized like this. Then set input mode to game only because when the game is unpaused, I only want to be playing the game. Right from here once more, set show mouse cursor. During the game, I don't want to see the mouse cursor, so leave this as is. And then set game passed and keep this one unchecked because we don't want our game passed because then we want to play our game once more. Okay, let's, this, let's test this one out. Make sure this is compiled, this is compiled. Then hit play. Okay, you can walk around in your game, good. Everything works. Then I hit the P key. Okay, we see our menu. Hit P again. See? And this is called unlock screen. I have my blur effect. I can also click continue and continue playing this game. Okay, and the input works. I can do this again. Okay. And I can also quit the game to quit the game. So I hope this helped and you can make your pause game from your game right now.